Hey, how's it going? Have you ever had a cool image that you've ever wanted to turn into an emote, but that isn't copyrighted, but you didn't want to pay someone to actually do it for you on Fiverr? It's so easy to create these yourself. If I knew how easy it was when I started out, I wouldn't have paid for my first set. It was a stupid thing to do. <laughs> Let's talk more about it. Welcome, I'm Aaron, also known as Spass from Spass Gaming. I'm a Twitch and YouTube content creator, and today we are talking about making emotes for free. If you have any questions about creating these emotes and you're not too sure about the full process that I'm going to explain later on throughout this video, feel free to drop it in the comments below, or better yet, hop in the Discord, ask me there, or even come on live when we're on Twitch. Uh, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Spend a lot of time in just chatting at the start, so make sure you hop in, check that out. Links are all down below for that. And Hope to see you there. Starting out and thinking of emotes can be such a tough process if you've recently become affiliated or if you're just trying to change your emotes up a little bit. There's just so many things you need to think about. What size do they need to be? What is the file size limit? How do I make them transparent? How do I upload them? How do I use them? There's just so much to cover. Through this video, we'll be walking through a few steps of exactly what you need to do and cover all those items. One way to do it is a bit more hands-on if you enjoy that kind of thing. And the other one, you can just upload it to a website and it basically does it all automatically for you. Make sure you watch till the end though because there is a top tip right there which most streamers don't even realize they need to think about when they do the emote and it plays quite a key role in your branding so make sure you check that out as well everything in this video will be timestamped so make sure you check out the description below or literally down the bar here you got you got little sections make sure you click on them if you want to skip through first things first you have to think about what you want your emote to be if it's your first emote you gotta try and link it to some kind of feeling because that's what it is emotes are emotional pictures um, that people can use to display emotion on your chat so go for things such as hi lol ggs hype pogging everyone loves a pogger right this will ensure that it actually gets used as an emote because if you just got a random emote that doesn't display any emotions it's unlikely to be used. Something that is great is something that's like a salute, which we're gonna do soon in this video. Um, or pogging. My podcat gets used quite a bit. I only implemented it the other day. BC Pog for the win! Just bear in mind that all the emotes that you create do have to be within 112 by 112 pixels. So that means they need to be square. You can't have a rectangle emote or anything. And anything that you do make is going to be shrunk down so small that you have to keep it simple. It can't be a complicated design. Otherwise, it'll just look a massive jumble of blur and... You don't want that. So once you have your core idea, you then have to go about creating it. Personally, I prefer to use photos as it fits more in with my branding, but you could design your own. You could create anime pictures and then do it that way. But whatever you do create, you have to make sure it fits within the Twitch terms of service because you can't use copyright images. Damn you rules. No one wants strikes, right? <laughs> so there are two ways in which you can do this. You can use a free program, which I mean, if you've got Photoshop, you can use it though, but I prefer to use free because not everyone has that kind of money, right? So the free program that you can use is called GIMP. Yep, GIMP. It stands for GNU Image Manipulation Program. So easy to remember, right? I'll link it in the description and this is personally what I use to make my transparent emotes and it is really simple. When you first load it, it looks a bit full on, but there's only a couple of options you're going to use and you'll be like, wow, this is so easy. Why didn't I do it before? But the other option we're gonna do is via a website, which if you do find the GIMP version too daunting, you can certainly just upload it and it'll do it all automatically for you. We'll cover the program way of using GIMP to create the emotes first and then move on to the website in the second section. But please watch the program way of creating because it is much easier and keeps that quality of the image rather than losing it via the upload and download process to the website. Because these are getting shrunk down so much, you need to try and retain as much quality as you can within the image. So let's create the emote live from this recording that we're doing now. Uh, this is one that's going to be used live on stream. It's not going to be podcast because I'm not going to pick her up and hold it to the screen. We're just going to do a simple salute because uh, I do need to update that one and actually upload that. So we'll run through this now. Just make sure when you do do this yourself, the background is as clear as possible because you don't want anything to interfere with the transparency process because if you do, it's going to make it a bit more difficult to draw around yourself and you'll see why very shortly. So let's just set this up quickly. Okay. Let's jump into GIMP now and see what we can try and do. Okay, so here's my photo opened up in GIMP here. It never stops feeling weird saying GIMP. It's just such a weird name, right? But you remember it. It's good advertisement. <laughs> to start creating your remote, what you need to do 
is you come over to the top, right click and click on free select there. And now simply you want to start drawing around your design. Um, so the first thing that you need to do is you want to try and create a flat bottom. Uh, so if you click on one end on the left and then release and then move your mouse over to the right and click again, that'll then do a line at the bottom. Then try and do a line up to the top because remember we're trying to keep this as square as we possibly can. Uh, this one probably isn't the best example, but once I've got to this point, I then just need to draw around. Now what you can also do, because this does get a little bit difficult, you can zoom in by pressing the plus key on your keyboard. Um, you can zoom in uh, by pressing plus, you can zoom out by pressing the minus sign. And then all you need to simply do is draw around your image. Get that as close to being square as you possibly can. Um, we're gonna skip through this a little bit just so we can see exactly what the finished product is. So yeah, just run through. So one thing here uh, that you can bear in mind, you can see I'm just kind of whipping through my hair here. You don't actually have to be super neat about it because it gets shrunk down. So you can skip a few bits if you want to, but still try and keep it as neat as possible. But don't worry about being so intricate because as it gets shrunk, the quality won't be there anyway. You won't be able to see the small gaps. Also, as I said, you want to make sure it's square, okay? Otherwise, it'll end up looking like this horrible emote which I've got here. Like it squashed me. I got a long face. Massive hand, looks totally weird. Don't use it. <laughs> okay, so as you can see here now, we've at least made it complete. You can see the little ants walking around. Funny name, right? Um, and then once we've done that, we then need to try and create a separate layer for this. So what we need to do, we go back up to the top left up here, and we wanna change it over to the scissor select tool. And then on your keyboard, press Control X to cut it out, then Control V to stick it back in there again. And then you'll see it's created a new layer on the right here. Now you want to move that to its own separate layer. So right click on it and go to, to new layer. That'll then create a new layer and you can see it there. And then now you want to click on the eye to get rid of the old layer. And that's going to be what our emote looks like. Okay, so the website way is even simpler. Um, all you have to do is you literally just upload the image. So if you want to head on over to remove.bg, I've dropped the link down in the description. So feel free to pause this video and go there if you want to go through it with me. As you can see, I've already dropped it in the website here. It's actually doing the removal as we speak. As you can see, it's now removed it, but you can see just on the left here, it's kind of not done that bit correctly. So if we click on edit and then zoom in first, we can then change it to erase and make our brush size slightly smaller because that's going to take my face out. And we can literally just paint around this section here where the black is, and that'll then neaten up that area where it isn't working correctly. So we'll run through this very quickly. There we go, that's all good. And now, yeah, if we select to download that to our machine, we'll zoom out just to make sure of it first though. Yeah, I'm happy with that, cool. Okay, so we'll download this, download image, right. Next, you need to look into resizing the image to 112 by 112 pixels. Uh, a lot of other videos will say you need to resize them into multiple sizes, but that is no more. Twitch has actually updated their website for once. Thank you, Twitch. Okay, so what you have to bear in mind when doing the website way is it does lose some quality when you're uploading and downloading. So again, I strongly stress you try out this GIMP version because it is so easy to do. Let's flip back over to that now and see exactly how we go about doing it. So. Here's the GIMP image, and um, you can see there it's all ready to go. It's a bit obviously squiffy around the hair, but that's fine. As I said, it's going to be shrunk down. We won't actually notice that. Um, so what we need to do is we need to resize it now. So we right click and we go down to scale layer and we want to set that to 112 and 112. You may find that it doesn't do it properly. You have to click that little chain just to clear the lot. You can see that's now shrunk down and that is the actual image size of that we need to use to upload to Twitch. And um, now what we need to do is we need to click on this selection tool here on the left with the square and draw around that yellow square just to make sure all those lines are on it. And now we're actually going to scale this whole background down to that selection size. So we go up to image and choose crop to selection. That'll then get rid of all that background and make it as small as the image is itself. And now what we do, we're pretty much there. We just need to export it. So if we go to file and then export as give it a name this is going to be a salute so we're going to keep it as that and store it in somewhere which makes sense to yourself and yep so we'll leave it at that and what we must need to do because uh, salute 07 makes sense is change it to a png so you've got to make sure it's a png because a jpeg won't allow it to have a transparent background so make sure you change that to png on the end there 
press export and here just leave the default settings and press export again. Now we have done that on GIMP, we're pretty much there now, but if that's too complicated, here's how we do it on the website. So to do this then, what you need to do is you need to go over to pick resize and um, you literally have to drag and drop your image into the section here. As you can see, I've already done that there and click on to continue to edit picture. This will then go onto the next page, will display your picture here, which we've already done from remove.bg. You now need to click on crop selection and draw this box around it. To do that, if you hold shift and then drag one of the corners and then place it where you need it to be, it'll keep it roughly square um, and then cover the image and then click on crop selection when you're happy with the area you've got. That is now then cropped, you can see it above. What we need to do now is now need to resize it. So under resize your picture, choose custom size. In width, type in 112 and in height, type in 112. Scroll down. In this section here, we choose special effects, leave it blank. In save as, make sure you hit PNG again to keep that transparency and then click on I'm done, resize my picture. You can view your image here to see if it is as you expect it to be. If you click on it and it is perfect, like it is here, we'll keep it, we want that. So let's save to disk and save it to a machine somewhere where we know so we can then look at uploading it to Twitch. If it hasn't worked, you can then actually click on resume edit um, on this page here and you can then mess around with it a little bit more. But we've now got an emote that we can upload to Twitch. Exciting times. All right, before we go ahead and actually do the upload for the emote, I just wanna say thank you for watching this video. If it has helped you so far, so far, so far, please hit it up with a like and don't forget to subscribe as the next video is gonna be for all you streamers all you viewers, you can basically apply this to everyone as it's something that you can all use and I'm really excited about creating it, but I need to do this one first. What's it gonna be, I hear you asking? Better Twitch TV. That's all I'm saying. Also, if you need any help further on what I've been previously in this video, please feel free to drop that in the comments below or better yet, join us on the Discord or Twitch when we're live. All the links are down below. Feel free to hop in. I'm more than happy to help out every single one of you. And if you do drop a comment in the YouTube, you're definitely gonna get a reply because I reply to every single comment. It's what I love doing. So I haven't ignored one yet, at least not that I'm aware of. <laughs> okay, so we're back on track. Let's go over to Twitch and see how we upload these completed emotes. Okay, so to upload, if you go over to your Twitch and click on your avatar icon at the top right hand corner and then click on channel dashboard. Once you're on your channel dashboard, if you scroll on down and click on to viewer rewards and then click on emotes, it will then take you to this page here. Now this is where you can upload your emotes. So click on the open slot if you have one. If you don't, you'll have to remove. And here we can upload our single 112 by 112 image picture. So to do this, if you click on the upload button, the little arrow pointing up to the line underneath, find the emote that we've just created. So this salute 07, uh, we will upload that by pressing open. Okay, once you've uploaded it here, you can then see below in the preview window exactly what it will look like in the different chats. As you can see, if it was an overcomplicated design, no one would know what it is. Um, at least there you can tell it's some kind of salute and that's exactly what we were going for. Now the important thing that we do need to do, which is what I mentioned at the start of the video, is we need to give the emote a name and something that works well. You can't put a bunch of figures in there, otherwise people aren't going to be able to type it in or remember it correctly. So under enter remote name, uh, we're going to go for Aaron R2507 here, uh, because that's the international thing for Twitch for saluting. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to click upload and then next time our chat has come in, they'll be able to use that. One thing you have to bear in mind is mine's pretty much uploaded instantly because I'm an affiliate for a while. And um, if you are a relatively new affiliate, it can take a few hours for it to be able to be checked and processed there uh, just because I believe the computers need to check you out a little bit further until they accept it. So if you're uploading it just before you go live, bear in mind it might not be available at that point and you will have to wait for that to appear. And there you have it. You've now uploaded your free emote that you've created. Feels good, right? It'll be good when people start using it. So hit this up with a like if it has helped you. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know down below exactly what emotes you're going to be creating with this method that I provided to you as I would love to know. And if you have any further questions, make sure you drop them in as well. So have some fantastic streams and some dope gaming sessions. I'll catch you next time. Yeah, w wait, whoa. Spot the truth. That what? You, you lie. <laughs> you lie, Eddie. We doubt your secrets out. <laughs>